2011 Jeep Liberty. Uh, it's got a 3.7. Today we're going to be replacing the water pump. This is the new pump right here. So the first step is we're going to crawl underneath the car. And your drain plug is going to be right here. This is what it looks like. So you just remove the plug and it'll drain the antifreeze out. And the next step. Uh, so this is the tools that we're going to need. You have a 13 millimeter with an extension. That's for the, to remove the water pump bolts. Uh, we have a long ratchet, extended ratchet with a 15 millimeter to remove the belt tensioner. Um, and this is a T27. So let's go ahead. And you got two T27 here, one, two, uh, we're gonna need to remove the whole reservoir and underneath access, I can't access the camera or I can't record it from down here but you have another T27 underneath here and there's gonna be one underneath right here and then we're gonna have to remove uh, this uh, windshield washer motor so when you unplug this starts leaking uh, right here so make sure you have something to catch the fluid first go ahead and remove this hose also all right so go ahead and disconnect this uh, plug this uh, plug actually broke off but you just press it down right here and then you pry it up with the flathead screwdriver I'm not gonna remove the windshield washer motor just because uh, it, this one is a little bit kind of messed up so i don't want to mess with it but you can if you want to take it off all you gotta do is push it down it'll it'll come slide out and then your fluid will leak out when you do that but these are the two bolts i was talking about at the bottom one and two right there i couldn't record it just because of the angle but they go over here and the other one is going to be right right there Alright, in the beginning of the video, I listed all the tools you're going to need. I forgot to mention the 8mm for the fan fan cover. I'm going to need to remove this whole fan cover right here. And you have another 8mm. And then over here, uh, we're going to have to unplug the fan uh, connector. You just uh, insert your flathead screwdriver. And then you pull it down with one hand right here to unplug it. So you take off the two eight millimeter, one, two, and then disconnected the fan, fan uh, connector. I'm gonna crawl or look underneath here. And you're gonna have a trans, uh, I think this is a transmission cooler line or transmission line right here. I'm trying to see if I can zoom in right there. Uh, this bolt is actually missing already <clears throat> but I think it's an eight millimeter so go ahead and take that off so you can release those two uh, hoses holding it down all right so we got the fan assembly out now we're gonna go ahead and use our 15 millimeter right here so we're gonna push it down so we can remove the belt once you take the belt off remove this idler pulley and this is a 15 millimeter uh, when you take this off uh, be careful not to lose that washer right here and now we have full access to the water pump so we can start removing those bolts and they are 13 millimeter All right, so I got the water pump out, got all the bolts out. Uh, quick little tip, uh, when you take off the bolts one by one, make sure you put it on the new water pump. Reason for that is some of the bolts are longer, some are shorter, so you don't want to get it mixed up. Um, so go ahead and remove the pump. You might have to pry it out with a flathead screwdriver, but this one came right off. Now take off this gasket right here. 
So the new one came with a gasket. It's already installed. Um, I'm not gonna use any uh, uh, gasket sealer or anything like that. You don't need to use it on this one. All you have to do is make sure that this is clean. Uh, you wanna make sure that's clean so you don't have any leak anywhere, especially at the bottom right here. Uh, so get you like a, like a sponge or like a metal wire brush or something. Make sure this is completely cleaned out before you put the new water pump in. So I got it cleaned out before you put the new water pump on. Make sure that that gasket is not bent. Make sure it's in the right place before you put the whole thing in there. Otherwise you're gonna have a leak. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the water pump. Bolts are in there. They are hand tight first. Now we are gonna do the star pattern for tightening it up. So we're gonna start with top one, this one, that one this one then underneath and then you get the, you get the idea um like i said hand tight the bolts in first uh then you slowly tighten them up in a star pattern they are 40 foot pounds uh that's the torque spec for those bolts if you don't have a torque wrench uh then just make sure you don't tighten the bolts too much because you can damage this housing right here and that's going to be a big problem Okay, so I got the water pump installed. Got the idle pulley back on in there and the belt. This is what the belt looks like. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the fan back in there and the reservoir also. All right, so I got the car running, letting it warm up. Um, go ahead and open this up. I know I said you don't have to take it all the way out, but what I did is I actually took the whole thing out and I just started filling it up with antifreeze in there and then we're gonna go ahead and slightly close it back up and then go ahead and start filling this up with uh, new antifreeze uh, you're gonna see it going up and down up and down and then you're gonna start seeing uh, air bubbles come out of this right here uh, let it uh, just bubble up on its own and then when it stops you can close it back up and then top this off while you're doing that, make sure that your heat. Make sure that the heat is all the way up. Uh, right now, I don't feel any heat coming through the air vents yet because the the coolant hasn't circulated to the whole system yet, the heater core and all that. But once you start feeling the heat come out of here, and then you you stop seeing air bubbles come out from here. Over here, you can go ahead and close everything up and take it for a test drive and make sure there's no leak anywhere else. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys got any questions, comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Click on that subscribe button also. And again, thank you for watching.